Hello everyone. Welcome in this lecture where we use shortcut method to find out the particular integral of given linear differential equation with constant coefficient. Especially we are focusing on the exponential function. These are the formulas for the exponential function. Here you can see 1 upon phi of d operating on e raised to ax equal to 1 upon phi of a operating on e raised to ax. That means when we are having exponential function e raised to ax, you should replace d by a, where a is a coefficient of x in the exponent of e, provided that your denominator should not equal to 0. That is phi of a should not equal to 0. For constant term k, we have to replace d by 0. Again, condition is that phi of 0 should not equal to 0. For a raised to x, you should replace d by log a, provided that phi of log a should not equal to 0. Therefore, when we summarize these three formulae, you can say for e raised to ax, d should be replaced by a. For constant term k, d should be replaced by 0. For a raised to x, d should be replaced by log a. In a case when you are getting 0 in the denominator, we call this case as a case of failure. If denominator equal to 0, we call this as case of failure. What to do then? Then you have to multiply numerator by x and take the derivative of the denominator with respect to d and then do the corresponding replacement. Now look at these examples on the shortcut method. To find out the particular integral of the differential equation, d square y by dx square minus 7 dy by dx plus 6y equal to e raised to 2x. These four options are provided. For it again consider the given linear differentiation equation in the form of d square minus 7 d plus 6 operating on y equals to e raised to 2x by assigning d by dx by capital D. By definition of particular integral, we have yp is equal to 1 upon d square minus 7 d plus 6 operating on e raised to 2x. As we seen in the previous slide, for exponential function, we should replace d by a. Here, a value of a is equal to 2. Therefore, we should replace d by 2. And when I replace d by 2, what do we get in the denominator? 1 upon 2 square minus 7 times 2 plus 6 operating on e raised to 2x. When I simplify this denominator here, we get 4 minus 14 plus 6 equals to minus 4. Therefore, correct option is a B option. Now look at the second example. Here we have a standard formula to find out a particular integral 1 upon d minus a raised to r e raised to ax where d stands for d by dx. Actually, when writing the particular integral, we have yp equal to 1 upon d minus a raised to r e raised to ax. For exponential function, we know we have to replace d by a. But what happens if I replace d by a, we are getting 0 in the denominator. It happens r times. This is known as case of failure. It happens r times because it has power equals to r. Therefore, r times we should multiply numerator by x and taking derivative of the denominator r times, we get r factorial in the denominator. Therefore, the formula for this particular integral 1 upon d minus a raised to r e raised to ax is what? x raised to r upon r factorial into e raised to ax. Therefore, correct option is a c option. Now, look at the third example. To find out the particular integral of the differential equation, d square minus 9 operating on y equal to e raised to 3x plus 1. Again, by definition of particular integral, we have yp is equals to 1 upon d square minus 9 operating on this e raised to 3x plus 1. Here you can separate for each of the term. We have 1 upon d square minus 9 operating on e raised to 3x plus 1 upon d square minus 9 operating on 1. For exponential function, we have to replace d by 3. And for constant term, we have to replace d by 0. But what happens when I replace d by 3 here, we get 9 minus 9. Therefore, you are getting 0 in the denominator. And this is case of failure. Therefore, we should multiply numerator by x and take the derivative of the denominator with respect to d and then do the proper or corresponding replacement. Therefore, here I get x upon 2d operating on e raised to 3x plus here, when I replace d by 0, we get minus 9 in the denominator. Again, you know what is 1 upon d? 1 upon d stands for integration with respect to x. Therefore, here we get x by 2, integration of e raised to 3x dx. And the second term will be minus 1 upon 9. You know integration of e raised to 3x is what? e raised to 3x upon 3. And therefore, here we get x e raised to 3x upon 6 minus 1 upon 9. Therefore, correct option is C option. 
Now in the fourth example, we have to find out the particular integral of the differential equation d minus two bracket cube operating on y equal to e raised to two x plus three raised to x. These four options are provided. By a definition of particular integral, we can write it as y p equal to one upon d minus two bracket cube e raised to two x plus three raised to x. Separating for each of the given two functions, we can have this arrangement y p equal to one upon d minus two cube. E raised to two x plus one upon d minus two cube three raised to x. Now for exponential function, we have replacement d should be replaced by two, and for three raised to x, like a raised to x, we should replace d by log a, that is d by log of three. Therefore, we can see when I replace d by two in the first term, we are getting zero in the denominator. Therefore, this case of failure. And using that particular formula, we can write this term as x cube upon three factorial into e raised to 2x plus by replacing d by log 3 in this denominator, what do we get? 1 upon log 3 minus 2 bracket cube into 3 raised to x. Therefore, when I look at the options, the A option is a correct option. Thank you. Thank you for watching.